Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TB and our frags, aka Preston here, and I've got an L118 Moab for you guys today, and it's about four and a half to five minutes long, so I think it's pretty quick, to be honest. I think it's my fastest sniper Moab yet, and uh, I'm super happy with this one. Plus, I am proud to say that I didn't use my secondaries at all to get this Moab. However, I did use a few knives to get, or I did get a few knife kills, and I never really understood, like, why do people complain so much about getting a, a few knife kills to get the Moab? Like, is a knife really that overpowered in my opinion if you're that close to somebody yeah then the knife is freaking awesome and it's overpowered but if you're trying to snipe you're trying to stay away from people and that's what I'm trying to do but you know if they get close to me I'm gonna go ahead and shank the dude okay just flat out I'm gonna shank the guy and uh, <laughs> so I've been having loads of fun playing Modern Warfare 3 lately and uh, I think is what really made me originally like the last few weeks kind of like dislike Modern Warfare 3 was all of the stream joiners that I got because I streamed Modern Warfare 3 loads and I like streaming it don't get me wrong it's so much fun to do it and I love interacting with all my viewers and doing open lobbies but when you have those guys that are stream joining against you just to make your life miserable on the game and to help you not or make you not get the Moabs and uh, you know just overall just make your game experience terrible it kind of rubbed off on me and I think that's what uh, what got on me so quickly but anyways enough about that we're gonna get on to some uh, tips real quick about it oh and before I say anything I actually did get an L118 ACOG Moab I think it was a few months ago and I uploaded it and it got so much hate guys it was ridiculous everybody was like Preston why are you using the ACOG bro ACOG takes no skill man and I was like are you serious? ACOG takes a lot of skill. I, I never understood the comments between that because in my opinion I think that the regular scope is uh, I think it's easier than ACOG. That's just my opinion, okay? You guys might have a completely different train of thought, but uh, like I always say, attachments always fall down to personal preference, and uh, that's what I thought. So my whole life, I, oh, man, did I just snuck up on that guy and shanked him? And, uh, yeah, a nice little clap. Get the clap right there. And uh, I've just been going ham on these guys this game. And uh, you can actually see my class setup. It's kind of goofy. I've got quick draw, then marksman, and then blind eye. I don't even know I have blind eye. I guess I was getting shot down. Um, by a lot of, uh, oh, yes, that was it. There was a lot of killstreak hackers when I was playing earlier. There's this new hack out. I guess it's not new. It's been out for a few weeks, but um, what it allows you to do is it's called a support to assault or assault to support killstreak hack. So people that use the assault strike package, let's say they get seven kills and they have like 50 deaths. They are still going to be able to get a helicopter because their killstreaks will still connect even if they die. Just like a support kill streak, except they can use the assault kill streaks, and uh, it's a really popular hack, and it's really, really frustrating. So I guess that's why I was running blind die. But anyways, I've got some sniper tips for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys watch my videos, and I've seen, I've done a lot of sniping videos. We're well, not a lot, but I've done about six or seven, you know, Moabs, some live commentaries and stuff like that. And the best tip I have for you guys when it comes to sniping is take your time, because there's nothing worse than missing your sniper shot because it gets you unfocused and uh, you kind of lose motivation. I know that sounds weird, but you do lose motivation to, sco to scope when you are constantly missing shots. And that's because you're not taking your time. And you'll see me a lot of times I do take two quick shots and uh, that's only if I'm desperate. I mean, if you're desperate and you know if you miss the shot, you're gonna die, then you gotta take it regardless whether you think you have a clear shot or not. But if you have a good vantage point, and that's one thing about sniping. People think, you know, with sniping you can just rush up in people's faces. And uh, you can in Modern Warfare 3 because, uh, you know, the scoping is awesome. And, oh, my God, assisted suicide. I love that. But uh, sometimes you just have to take a vantage point like I am right here. I'm in this house, all right? I've got uh, my surroundings are covered. We have the A flag and the B flag. There's no way they're going to be spawning on me. So I'm going to use this advantage to scope down the line of sight right here on the C flag, which is really smart. But you don't see me staying in the same spot over and over. I'm constantly moving. That way the enemy snipers, the enemy players, all of them have to constantly guess where I am. That's the whole point of being a sniper. It's being sneaky, recon. Or you can play the, you know, the quick scoper sniper who just rushes up in the spawn and somehow amazingly gets, you know, an eight kill feed like you see on Amazing Films 24/7. But uh, you know, that's just usually not going to happen. So you're going to want to try to play safe, play smart. 
if you want to get a sniper mob, and that's what you see me doing. I have moved to a total of four spots already in this area, behind this refrigerator, in that little small house, in the second story house, and the behind this little hill right here. So you can s constantly see me moving around, you know, because I want to keep these guys guessing as much as possible, and in my opinion, that is the best way to try to get a sniper mob. And, you know, hands down, I mean, you can see right here, it worked great for me. You know, now they're finally moving in on the A position, so I gotta be a little bit more careful, and I'm uh, kind of pushing out right here. But uh, that's the one most important thing about sniping, and really for every kind of MOAB, is just always rotate your position and never stay in the same spot. And uh, so I know this was kind of some quick tips, and uh, you know, you, some of you guys might already know some, you know, about this and stuff like that. But some of you guys might not be as familiar with sniping as I am. I mean, I've been sniping ever since Call of Duty One back in 2005, so I've been playing a long time, and I've been sniping a long time. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I've got an awesome Modern Warfare 3 video coming for you guys tomorrow. It's uh, Overkill Double Moab with the M16 and the MP5, and both of the guns were stock. So. It's going to be a really awesome video, and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please um, subscribe down below. Also, click that like and favor button if you don't mind. It only takes a second, and it helps me out tremendously. So once again, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, have a great day. Peace out.